Fox and you're tuned into Foxy TV. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. So today I'm hanging out with recording artist, music sensation, Tiana, here at Studio One. What's and up, I'm so guys? excited for you guys to meet her. Hey Tiana. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm great. You guys looking fabulous, I must Thank say. Thank you. As every recording artist does. <laughs> so I'm excited to talk to you today because I always love talk talking to you know new artists that are mm -hmm. doing amazing things in the industry. So I want to start by just kind of asking you or getting an idea, how did you get your start in the industry? Well, I started when I was about four or so. Mm -hmm. I was, um, my mom was an agent in the industry. Okay. She does um, acting. Mm -hmm. And I started dancing when I was three years old. And But ever since I was two, I knew that I wanted to sing like Christina Aguilera or oh, Whitney Houston or something. Yeah, that yeah, that was yeah. yeah. I grew up with En Vogue and Jade and Whitney Houston, so that was like like my demographic. That's what yeah. I wanted. Yeah. So um, and then I love En Vogue. <laughs> <laughs> and then I started um, acting when I was like really really started acting when I was twelve, okay. and I've been in it ever since. But I've been starting to sing when I was real real young. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, like a year or two ago, I signed with. Um, Leland with Street Notes Records mm -hmm. and yeah I've been trying to go strong ever since. <laughs> okay I love that so you're like definitely what we would call in the industry a triple threat, threat. <laughs> from singing to dancing to acting. Yeah. Girl you do it all and I love I love I everything. That. I couldn't pick a favorite so yeah. I was like you know what I want to do all three. <laughs> yeah yeah I hate when people tell you oh you have to narrow it down or pick yeah. one thing. It's like no no if you have multiple talents I think you should be able to Go with that and, and you know showcase that. Yeah, and to me it's like if you're doing acting and you do a commercial and they want you to dance a little bit, or if That's they want true. you to like sing a few bars, everything goes along with everything. Mm -hmm. So it's good to know all three. You don't have to be like mm -hmm. superstar at everything, but as long as you have, you know. That's true. Combining talents mm -hmm. and never putting yourself in a box. Yeah, definitely. definitely. I love that. Well, I love that. <laughs> so when for you, when did you know like you wanted to put a lot more time into music? Um, I've always known since I was really young that music was my number one. Mm -hmm. um, I did dancing first because it costs less. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but um, I've always known that I wanted to be a superstar. I wanted to be out there. When I was like dancing for competitions or whatever, I would be on a stage and that's where I felt most at home. Mm -hmm. So I've known since I was little that singing that. is what I wanted to do. Yeah, one of my favorite entertain entertainers, J-Lo. You know, she got started dancing. That's that's who I look up to. The triple threat thing. That's who I look up to. Well, she is definitely a role model for sure. Oh my god, <laughs> I love her. So, well, speaking of that, so talk a little bit about some of your maybe industry um, inspirations or or music artists that you're inspired by. Um, definitely the the career path of Whitney Houston, the music wise. Um, Mariah Carey is a big inspiration of mine. Nice. Christina Aguilera. J Lo, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Janet Jackson. Yes. Um, Those are all incredible women yeah. that you list. I mean, my goal is to be everlasting and not a what they call one minute wonder. Mm -hmm. I want to have a career, you know, a career in singing. Like, even young generations know of these artists, and yeah. that's what that's my goal. Like, yeah. to go on and have like my friends' kids be like, I want the new Tiana CD. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Basically, leaving your your legend. Yes. starting it. That's yeah. yeah. That's like my career goal in yeah. life. Yeah, I love that. Well, you definitely seem very focused. Yeah. So that's what it takes in this industry. So, um, what about like current projects? You have a song out right now, right? Yes, it's um, called Too Late, and it's featured Joy Bats. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. I love. I I fell in love with the beat as soon as I heard it. And so what's the vibe of this? Song? It's very like, the like the feeling of the song is like you're you're doing yourself. Like mm -hmm. I'm gonna do me. It's too mm -hmm. late for you. <laughs> you okay, know, like okay. the I guy like the guy is too late. <laughs> you had your chance. You had your chance. <laughs> it's very like you're self empowered. Like. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm doing me, so I'm going to pay attention on myself right now. Mm -hmm. but, I like yeah. that. Girl power. Yeah, we need definitely. that. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so just also go ahead and touch on, like, for you, what's been something that's maybe been challenging for you in your career as a music artist? Um, challenging definitely would be, um, I guess, money situation. My mom's a single parent. And with, there's three of us, mm -hmm. so I mean I understand um, exactly where she's coming from. She's like my biggest support, my biggest supporter, my yeah. my number one. It's always been me and her for like the longest time. Mm -hmm. So shout um, out to mom. Shout out to you, mom. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I think um, 
like with my situation, my career, uh, my career, I want to like you know give back to my family because they all support me so much, and mm -hmm. you know, I, like the, my dream is to buy my mom a house, and yes, you love know, love that, love that. That's yeah. beautiful. <laughs> so, what's like some advice you'd give to young people that are maybe wanting to go into the direction that you are? Oh my God, singing. don't give up, don't give up. I like there's so many times I've like been told no that mm -hmm. uh, my voice isn't strong enough. My you're not going to go anywhere, so you just might as well just try something else, try a new hobby. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, no one else really knows what's ahead for you yes, but God. True. So true. if you and have a bad. dream, if you have a dream, go for it. No matter what anybody tells you. If you have the support of anybody, your mm -hmm. mom, your dad, your friends, whatever, mm -hmm. and they, they believe in you, that's all you need. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Definitely the support of family, friends. That's you need that to get through, you know, your yeah. career, and especially those challenging times and those tough times, which I know you, I'm sure you've been through. Most definitely, yeah. So, okay, how can people find your music? Like, where where can they listen to your hit song? Um, it's on iTunes. It's on Spotify. Um, you can go to my Instagram, <laughs> Instagram, <laughs> Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, everywhere. Um, just search my name and you'll find it. <laughs> okay. So I always like to ask some fun questions before I let you go. Okay. So as a music artist, like in five seconds, give me three things that you can't live without. Oh go. my God, uh, microphone, my lip gloss, and my shoes. <laughs> Ooh, right there. Oh, I like how she added the lip gloss in there. I can't go there without lip I gloss. I can't. Girl, you, yes. <laughs> and I don't have any makeup on lip gloss. <laughs> You're going. <laughs> okay, so as a musician or like a music artist, mm -hmm. let's say, like, let's hope this will never happen, but let's say the house was burning down, you had 10 seconds to get out of the house, what are three things you would grab that you would need before you go on the road? Uh, my family. Um, I would grab um, any booklets that have um, songs written in them that are either not finished or that I'm working on, or whatever, mm -hmm. and my phone. Love that. You can't go anywhere without your phone. <laughs> Not these days. Attached. <laughs> Not these days. So just real quick, how do you, because I always like to ask people that are very like creative minded like you, how do you get your daily inspiration? Like where do you pull inspiration from when you're like getting your song ideas? Um, I definitely like to vibe to like old school music. Like okay. I listen to a lot of, like I said, in Vogue and stuff and it gets like, the real music from back then is like it has a message. Mm -hmm. It's not just you know. That's true. Like it doesn't say one thing over and over again. There's a yeah. story behind it. Yeah, that's true. And my music, I would like to have like you know, it tells a story. Mm -hmm. It's not just a party song or whatever. There's a story behind it. There's yeah. meaning. Like people can like feel the yeah, words. Yeah, exactly. And people to can it. connect to it. They can you know, if they can relate, they can you know, talk about it. Yeah. I, that's definitely. I, I love know. that. That that's a true artist right there. <laughs> <laughs> so favorite invo. Song. Oh, uh, free your mind. <laughs> oh, yes, love that song. favorite. Can you oh, give us a quick tune? Free your mind, and the rest will follow. <laughs> I love that. We need her on the TV more. <laughs> so, just real quick, tell your fans, viewers, how they can find you. Website. I know you mentioned iTunes. Mm -hmm. Um, you guys can find me at I am Tiana on Instagram, at underscore Tiana on Twitter. Tumblr is just Tiana Vasquez. Uh, what else do I have? <laughs> uh, my website is coming out. It's tianabasquezmusic.com. In iTunes, you can search my name, Tiana Vasquez. Spotify, Tiana Vasquez. Yeah. All right. So 2016 is going to be a good year for you. Hopefully. It's got yes. Are you right, off to a good start? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so make sure you guys check her out. And they can also catch you here in the studio. How often are you here in the studio? Oh, anytime I can be here, I'm here. Okay. Definitely. Okay. If I'm like, oh, I have an idea. Can we get in the studio? Yes. <laughs> yes. you got to like get it out when those yeah. creative juices are coming. Definitely. And there's yeah. a lot of great people working here that are like, oh, what about yes. this? What about this? So. Yeah. It's yeah. good to have more people, you know, I with love more that. creative minds. Yeah. So we definitely got to give a shout out to Studio One and Leland White of Street Notes Records, right? Yeah. Shout out to you, Leland. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys. So make sure you check her out. Music Sensation, this cutie pie right here, recording artist Tiana. You guys are going to see her face again, and you're going to be vibing to her tunes in the club. <laughs> I know you are. I will. <laughs> Stay tuned, you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me today here at Studio One. Uh, don't forget to join us on social media. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And more importantly, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. <laughs> I'll see you guys again soon. Hey, Tiana Fox. <laughs> Tiana Fox, Foxy TV.